Hey everyone, Dr. John Barbieri here, board certified dermatologist and acne and rosacea expert. In this video, I wanna talk about acne associated erythema, those darn red spots that get left behind after we have our acne. Let's talk about what causes them and how to treat them. When we think about this acne associated erythema, these red marks that get left behind by acne, they're a sign that there's still inflammation ongoing in the skin. And some people, for whatever reason, their acne just has more inflammation in it. Other people's acne is more just whiteheads and blackheads, but some people, there's probably a genetic component to it, their inflammatory response is just that much greater. And even after that pimple's gone, there's still inflammation there. That inflammation's bringing more blood flow to the skin, and that blood flow is what's causing that redness, that red spot. So now that we know why the red spots are happening, how can we treat them? Well, you know what I'm gonna say, the most important thing when it comes to treating these red spots, is just like dark spots, you've gotta treat the underlying acne. If you don't have good control of your acne, it's gonna be like playing whack-a-mole. You're gonna be chasing those red spots all around. So the number one thing we have to do when it comes to treating red spots, that acne-associated erythema, is to treat the underlying acne. So finding a good regimen for your acne, and we've got other videos about that, is foundational to getting rid of those red spots. But let's say you're doing that. You've optimized your acne regimen, we have got the acne under control, but those red spots are still being bothersome. What can we do? Well, we know those red spots are about vascular hyperreactivity, about inflammation in the skin. So we can try to help calm that down. So using things like oxymetazoline, that's a alpha agonist that causes those blood vessels to clamp down and squeeze and reduce that blood flow to the skin. Those can be helpful at getting those red spots to fade faster. And that's something that we can compound as a dermatologist or an over-the-counter thing to try would be actually Afrin nasal spray that has oxymetazoline in it. You could put that on the red spots to try to help reduce them. Now I'll say the concentration of oxymetazoline in Afrin is dramatically less than the concentration that we use in our compounded and our prescription products, but it's a potential place to start and it's a very safe thing to try. Beyond using things like oxymetazoline, we can also think about options like tranexamic acid, which we think about classically for dark spots, but one of the ways that it works for dark spots is through anti-inflammatory properties and through preventing excess blood flow to the skin, excess inflammation. And so for our red spots, it can also potentially be a helpful treatment that we can do. So we've got oxymetazoline, we've got tranexamic acid, and then additionally, we can use vascular lasers like pulse dye laser, like KTP laser to help target specifically that redness in the skin and help us address that acne associated erythema. So I hope you found this video helpful. For more acne and rosacea content, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And again, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like.